In this video, I will guide you on how to set a custom wallpaper for your smartwatch. So if you want to be able to use any picture or your own photos as wallpaper for any smartwatch you have, this video will guide you on how to go about doing that. It doesn't matter the type of smartwatch you have or the model, whether it's a Fit Pro smartwatch, a High Watch Ultra smartwatch, a High Watch Pro smartwatch, Lazarus Fit smartwatch, Rifine smartwatch. The process is quite simple and similar on all of these smartwatches now basically what you want to do is to go ahead and connect your smartwatch to your phone using your smartwatch app so in my case over here i have the rifine smartwatch so i'll go ahead and download and install the rifine smartwatch app into my phone whether it's an iphone or android phone if you do not know the app that your smartwatch actually uses you can go over to the manual that actually comes with your smartwatch and you should be able to just scan the qr code over here and it will take you to the app that your smartwatch uses or alternatively in most of these smartwatches you should be able to find the qr code section on the smartwatch so once you head over to the settings of the smartwatch or you just scroll over to some of the apps over here you should be able to find the qr code from the list of apps and then just go over to your phone scan the qr code over here on the screen and once you scan it with your camera app you should be able to now identify the app that your smartwatch uses so that you can actually download and install it from the google play store or app store in my case it is the rifine smartwatch app so i'll just go ahead and download and install the rifine smartwatch app into my phone from the google play store you can literally see the app over here i have just downloaded and installed it so i'll go ahead and open it up directly from here but before you launch your smartwatch app you want to first of all make sure you turn on the bluetooth of your phone and then the service location of your phone as well this will actually enable you to be able to pair the smartwatch with your phone now what you want to do next is to go ahead and open up the smartwatch so just open it up now the setup process is quite similar in most of the smartwatches you just want to give it all of the permission it needs to function properly and then just proceed to give it all of the required permission from over here as well so just click on allow until you're done with everything now you also want to go ahead and log in if your smartwatch requires you to log in as well and once you're successfully logged into your smartwatch app what you want to do usually you will get this notification just click on the go to set go ahead and give it the permission to be able to send notifications so select your smartwatch app from the list of apps over here and then give it this permission as well once the permission is enabled you can go back to your smartwatch app and now you want to go ahead and pair your smartwatch app with your actual smartwatch over here so what you want to do is to either click on the watch icon that is usually on top of the smartwatch from the home page over here or alternatively you can come over to the me tab in some smartwatches it is called the devices tab or the my tab just come over to the me tab over here and then you just want to go ahead and click on the search for devices so that you can actually search for your smartwatch and once you give it that permission your smartwatch will start to look for available smartwatches it can actually connect to at this point if your smartwatch actually has bluetooth you also want to make sure you turn on bluetooth mine over here actually has bluetooth remember not all smartwatches actually have bluetooth but if yours does just make sure you turn it on and then go ahead and search for devices again so that it can actually find the name of your smartwatch so i'll just go ahead and select it now it is trying to pair with the smartwatch and once both devices are successfully paired the next thing you want to do now is to proceed to set a custom wallpaper for your smartwatch to do that you want to head over to the my tab or devices tab depending on what it is called on your own smartwatch and then you just want to go ahead and look for the dial feature in some smartwatch it is actually called the diy die and in some smartwatches it is also called watch face or wallpaper just go ahead and select the dial or watch face or wallpaper whatever it is called and then from over here go ahead and select diy die and now you'll be required to select your photo that you want to use as the wallpaper for your smartwatch so i'll just go ahead and select this and then click on select picture and then from the list of pictures over here i will proceed to select any picture of my choice i'll just select this picture over here and then you can go ahead and crop it whichever way you want then just click on the check button at the top you can as well proceed to customize how you want the text to be on the picture then click on the check button again and now you can also go ahead and do other customization like changing the color of the text and the background of the text as well once you're done just go ahead and click on the save and used option over here our wallpaper is now being sent from the smartwatch app into our smartwatch over here you just want to go ahead and give it some few minutes 
and just like so we have now been able to successfully set a custom wallpaper for our smartwatch and as you can see this really looks pretty well if you find this video useful please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to this youtube channel for more interesting tech tips like this one